Saving the Bay Dam. A Race Against Time. A small dam in Bay, called Bay One, near Boaké, Côte d'Ivoire, that has helped sustain the livelihoods of hundreds of farming households for more than 50 years and was their only lifeline to survival during the decade-long Ivorian crisis, is today in desperate and urgent need of rehabilitation. The farmers here were able to grow rice even during the height of the crisis as we continued to run the irrigation system and ensure timely water supply, said Alonso Rami, supervisor of operations at Africa Rice's main research station in Bay. Knowing the vital importance of the dam for the life of the village communities, we did not stop the supply of irrigation water even for a day when the farmers required it during that difficult period, Alon added. The reservoir, which supplies water to the Bay One irrigation scheme, lies in the main research station of Africa Rice and Bay. The successful management of the Bay One Dam particularly during the crisis period when most of the Africa rice research activities were suspended, is a shining example of cooperation and trust between the center and the village communities, which are jointly managing and sharing the water of the reservoir for rice research and farming. It is also an inspiring story of unsung heroes who helped the rural community survive when there was little hope of getting any help. This is in stark contrast to other three nearby dams that were developed at the same time as Bay One, but which are no longer functioning properly because of poor management. <laughs> Thanking Africa Rice for the efficient management of the reservoir water, the traditional head of the Mizrin community in the village of Mizrin Konankro, Mr. Kwasi Gessen said, <laughs> We thank Africa Rice and are very proud of its work. Mr. Gessen is head of the 13 village chiefs in and around Bay. For Africa Rice, the presence of a reservoir in Bay 1 is a boon for research, as it ensures year-round water supply for its experimental plots. This helps the center to continue research activities and seed production all through the year. The potential for impact from rice research and development activities in Bay 1 is huge due to the importance of the rice sector in Côte d'Ivoire and in all neighboring countries. Similarly, the rice farmers of Bay 1 scheme are assured of two crops of rice per year, thanks to the stable water supply. Speaking of the benefits of the dam to their community, the president of the Rice Farmers Cooperative Kuduri, Mr. Koulibaly Asaka said, C'est déjà un progrès. Les familles arrivent à scolariser leurs enfants. Our farmers have been able to get bumper rice harvests and have become better off. They are able to feed their families and send their children to school and pay for medical care. Life has changed in some of the villages around Bay, such as in Tobacco, where several thatch huts have given place to semi-concrete houses. Also, farmers have been able to acquire tractors and threshers to further improve their farming practices. Bay farmers also benefit from the improved technologies and trading from Africa rice. Today, Boaké has a thriving rice industry and traders from Boaké source their rice from Bay, according to Mamadou Awatara, a rice processor and vendor in Boaké. As part of an informal agreement with the Farmers Cooperative and the village chiefs, Africa rice has been managing the irrigation system in a transparent and equitable manner, taking care of its maintenance, responding to the needs of researchers and farmers, determining water allocation in consultation with the cooperative and monitoring water use at the center and in the farms to avoid wastage of water. The Bay Dam is now more than 50 years old and has not been rehabilitated for a long time. Sediment has started to build up over the years and the drains and canals are not operating efficiently. Also as Africa Rice had suspended its research operations for more than 12 years since 2002, most of the infrastructure, particularly the drainage system, the canals and canal structures, the field application system, and the pumps, have become degraded because of poor maintenance. The poor maintenance of the irrigation system is already affecting the timely supply of irrigation water to the farmers' fields in Bay. Quand on ouvre l'eau, souvent on a au moins une semaine.
Earlier we used to get water in our farms within two days. Now it takes more than a week, and this delay is a major risk to our crop," explained Mr. Cooley Bully. He urged that the canals and farmers' fields need urgent attention, and appealed for help to line them to reduce seepage. In addition, the reservoir is facing challenges of increasing population pressure and climate change. It is vital to increase the reservoir so that more farms can be developed, said Mr. Cooley Bully. When it was built, we were only about 60 farmers, and each had about 4 hectare. Today, we are 300 farmers, and our farm size has reduced to 0.35 hectares for a family of 6 to 7 members, and this is unsustainable. Africa Rice Seed Systems Development Coordinator Dr. Keeney said, uh, canal which has become uh, very shallow because of its uh, uh, the what lot of uh, silt accumulation and the weeds uh, which makes it very difficult for the research field to operate in a more uh, uh, scientific way. The Baum irrigation system that was used for upland research is no longer working and needs to be replaced. As Africa Rice looks forward to resuming fully its research activities in Bay, the rehabilitation of the dam is central to its ambitious plans to develop new technologies to boost the rice sector in the country and the Mono River Union. Africa Rice Bay Station head Dr. Amadou Bay said. And for these populations, cultivating rice is very important because they are generating revenue uh, and uh, at the same time they are able, they will be able to harvest two times a year, which is uh, very important. Uh, Dr. Amadou Bey said, also different value chain workers, farmers, mechanics, and millers are involved in Bay 1. So if the dam is improved they will all benefit. He explained that Africa Rice is discussing with its partner Propacum the project for support to agriculture and commercialization of Cote d'Ivoire regarding the ongoing development of 40 hectares of Bay 2 Dam, adjacent to Bay 1 Dam. Madam Mat Nakuli Bully, head of the regional branch of Propacum and Wake, said Africa Rice and Propacum work together in partnership in Bay. Propacum is funded by the Ivorian government and the Fed. The rehabilitation of Bay One Dam in response to the real need of farmers will be a sound and visible investment option to improve the profitability of the dam and boost the food security and socio-economic status of farmer beneficiaries in the area. Dans un moment où le problème de l'emploi Speaking of the potential benefits of the rehabilitation of the Bay One Dam, the governor of the Boaké region, Mr. Akakonin said, the rehabilitation will also help generate employment for the village youth, which is a major objective of the local government authorities. We thank Africa Rice and IFAD for their tremendous contribution to the development of the Bay community. The governor of the Boaké region, Mr. Rakakonin said. Visit www.africarice.org for more information.